Are you really going to use the song of Nephilim? Yes. Pellegree, have you ever heard it? It's creepy as hell. That song draws everything unto madness. It's creepy. So creepy. You're all gonna hear it, but it's very creepy. Don't mind me, just have myself some sunflower seeds. Milsha, I never thought I'd come back under these situations. Chief, is something Which wrong? Milsha are you talking about there, Shion? Uh, oh no, it's uh, nothing. Of course it is. It's always nothing with her. How's that, Cosmos? Fine. There are no problems. Please continue. <laughs> Please continue tuning me up, Shion Honeybuns. There we go. Alan gets it. Alan gets it. Nobody else gets it, but Alan gets it. We will soon be entering the Milshan star system. We will be entering orbit at 1400 hours local time. Second Milsha spaceport flight control. Transmitting flight plan. Requesting permission to dock. The last thing this place needs is to dock. <laughs> hey, Momo. <laughs> oh, here we go, guys. Here we yes. go. Cutest scene it? in the game. We'll be going our separate ways once we get to second Milsha, right? Yes. I don't know if Realians believe in carrying charms or not, but... Here, take this. It's for luck. It's so pretty. What is it? It's a bullet from a long time ago. Look, it's got a good luck phrase on it. Sayonara, baby. <laughs> and that's supposed to be Thank a good you. luck phrase, Junior. I'll keep it safe. Oh wait, hold on a sec. Those two are so adorable together. <laughs> time for time for Junior to use alchemy. Channeling a bit of Edward Elric there, are we? Ah, there we go. Try it on. Wow! You can do things like that too? That's wonderful! It kind of tires me out a bit though. That is the most adorable cutscene in this game by far. Ooh. That is a lot of, um, military cruisers. What a strange welcome. Are they escorting us in this time? No, I think you're about They're to get wrecked. Away. <sighs> this is no welcome. Somebody done goofed. As you can see from this video, the Kukai Foundation has engaged in what is clearly an act of aggression against the 117th Marine Division. Yep. From the events that followed, we can only come to the conclusion that this was an act of rebellion orchestrated by the Foundation's creators, the Second Milshan Government. In light of these troubling events, we hereby enter a motion for the following. Per Article 104, an emergency suspension of the vested rights of Second Milsha's autonomous government. I'd like to add that the 422nd Fleet from Gedalia has been dispatched to the scene in order to surround and contain both the Kukai Foundation and Second Milsha. Hold on there. Won't that constitute an unauthorized use of force? The deployment is in accordance with the Federation Emergency Powers Act. It is Yeah, somebody's doctoring records and trying to get us make it look like we attacked the Lorugan. And by we I mean Jinder. 
Perhaps they were heroes during the conflict, or whatever in the past. But the current situation is a result of letting them have their way for so long. The Zohar but we didn't! It, the Noah says attack the Oglund Day! Why should Second Milsha have sole control? The decision to turn the artifacts of old Milsha over to an impartial third party was decided by vote 14 years ago. We're talking about the dangers of it being monopolized by a corporation! The Kukai Foundation was converted after the completion of the post-war cleanup and their own disarmament. Since taking on their current name and converting to a business, their primary source of income has become entertainment and tourism. How could they possibly have a vested interest in the Zohar? They don't, they just you want to keep it away from everyone disarm. else. It's just enough for self-defense. There we go, that I like this guy. the organization was formed. Not only that, we can't ignore their recent achievements against the Gnosis. Can we be certain these accusations aren't merely jealousy on the part of a state that didn't receive post-war government handouts? There we go. How dare you! I've heard rumors that Milsha was secretly involved not only with the current planetary disappearance case, but also with other recent developments, including the anti-Gnosis Sohar project. Oh my god. They're gonna I'd blame like to everything on us! We're screwed! We're going Dr. into solitary confinement. We moved the 100 series Realian to second Milsha in accordance with the original plan. We're following the protocols. But I wonder... Have you forgotten that it was Milsha that produced the lunatic that summoned the Gnosis and tried to destroy the Federation? I sympathize with your desire to defend your late husband, but <laughs> she doesn't want to defend him at all. Situation. I would not have expected my presence here to be misconstrued in such a manner. Oh, really? That this is just really can we? That yeah, I was gonna say, can we finish this cutscene, please? I've been going on for way too long. Order! Order! We've just patched in with Representative Helmer. I'd like to hear about the situation from the Helmer second Milton government. Helmer is best. Well, Representative Helmer? And of course, immediately cuts off. We hereby place the Kukai Foundation under arrest for the suspicion of violating Article 798, Chapter 37, Collection and Concealment of Defense Information, and Article 2153, Chapter 1. Oh, hi, Negredo. What are you doing there? And hereby revoke all rights previously granted. Oh, shit. Shut down your engines and relinquish your weapons immediately. Acts of aggression against Federation vessels? Furthermore, should the Milshan government allow the Kukai Foundation to dock the Durandal, we will issue a state of emergency notice under Article 2384, Chapter 115, Part 18, Conspiracy what in the world to is Aid going Insurrection. On? It looks like they think the Durandal conspired with the Milshan government in an attack on the Federation fleet. Which didn't happen at all. We've Federation played this game, we know this. Hey, check out the network news on the sub-monitor! You're not gonna believe this! On the morning of the 21st, it appears that the 177th Marine Division flagship Oglinde of the Galaxy Federation's Tessadora Division came under attack by a heavily armed ship belonging to the Kukai Foundation. The Oglinde? Yep. But they were, we were on that ship and it was definitely not attacked by the Durandal. Already. The company has Apparently been not! ...is operating in conjunction with the second Milshan government. Considerations for the possibility of treason have forced the Federation Parliament to dispatch. They did a good job doctoring that video. But yeah. how did they synchronize the battle coordinates as well? Damn! That's from when we fought the UTIC organization. Those bastards were recording it. I see. And they didn't know that because Junior shot the data feed before Mary should. could get all the information. I guess that's their indisputable proof. And I'm starting to think that we did it. Considering the situation, oh, I was going to say, stop being so <laughs> calm, Negredo. This is confirmation that the remnants of the UTIC organization have infiltrated both the Federation government and the military. Which means their next target is... Mama. <laughs> he looks directly down a moment and he goes, oh shit. This is such a blatant lie, it's ludicrous. As survivors, if we testify... They'll just claim that you survived because you were in on the conspiracy. This is insane! Do you think this is why Headquarters hasn't communicated with us? Probably! Probably. Yeah. Yeah, you're boned. 
Sorry guys, there's not too much for me to comment on, at least at the moment, despite the fact... Except for the fact, rather. <laughs> that we're in a bit of a tight pickle. Oh, hi there, honey buns. You're cute. I am Captain Lapis Roman of the Galaxy oh. Federation Special Ops Lost Command Microphone Headquarters, there. Intelligence Bureau. I hereby place the ship under custody um. of the Galaxy Federation. Sunflower seeds are yummy. I understand you're from the Woglinde. I'll take you in as witnesses. All vector property will be temporarily confiscated as evidence. Cosmos. Cosmos. Here's the 100 series Realian under warrant. Hey, don't hurt her! Ugh. Yeah, if Junior wanted to, he could wreck everybody in that room, but Detain he knows them better. In a single room and watch them carefully. All of them? Splitting them up will only serve to underman our guard posts. Investigate as much of the ship as possible before we rendezvous with the others. Yes, ma'am. Yes, put us all in a single room. That's the best idea. For suspicion of treason no. against the Galaxy Federation. Come with me. As you wish. Poor Junior. Junior has a reason why he's already so attached to Momo. I'm not going to spoil it, but there is one. It's all orchestrated too well. Huh? The fleet deployment came too quickly. They must have been prepared to ensure that Momo would return to them, regardless of what happened. Or perhaps ensnaring second Milsha was part of their plan from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. As in neutral territory, second Milsha was invested with a whole bunch of Ziggy Stardust has a right, guys. After the Milshan conflict. There are a whole lot of folks who still have problems with that. Even outside of the UTIC organization. The asteroid where Momo was imprisoned. I wondered where the information about that place came from. It was leaked on now purpose? Now it seems like it was all part of the plan from the very beginning. Oh god, it's a Thanatos gambit. <laughs> you mean from when Mommy sent you to rescue me? You don't think there are UTIC members within the subcommittee itself? Obviously, Chaos. Not inconceivable. Perhaps it was the very person who arranged for Momo's rescue. Yuri Mizrahi herself. No! Mommy would never do something like that! Alan! Say, Alan, have some tact! Uh, God damn! Sorry. She already has to hear how her um, late quote unquote father is insane. You don't need to be dragging up her mother, too. Poor Momo. Open it. Ooh, water. I forgot I had water. Water is good. Everyone should drink your water Hello. every day. It's good for you. Sorry to keep you waiting, Guinan. I'm in a somewhat difficult position myself at the moment. But I'm <laughs> doing what I say. can with the Federation Parliament. Now the woman beside you is Captain Lapis Roman. Several years ago, I sent her to infiltrate the military in order to keep tabs on the UTIC members within it. Well, aren't they lucky she that she just happened to be Always one of their spies just happened to be Caution one of the ones that, that got sent to arrest them? <laughs> Captain Roman will investigate the Durandal's records before someone modifies them. Please assist her. Understood. I'll give her the Durandal's master key. Sir. There's an EPR com from the CEO of Vector. Uh-oh. Vector? All right, I'll take it. If you'll excuse me, I'll let you know if there are any developments. Busy as always. Great, now we Not get to talk to the creepy albino. It's good to see you again, Representative Hi, Helm. Hi, Wilhelm. Likewise, Mr. Wilhelm. We haven't spoken since you resigned as Executive Committee Director. I'm well aware of the situation. Allow me to make a recommendation to the Parliament as well. Mr. Wilhelm, you're too kind. 